There are three devices commonly used in rehabilitation, nursing homes, and home health care to assist staff in moving a client or resident safely. A gate belt, sit-to-stand mechanical lift, and total body lift are all designed to safely transfer a client or resident from point A to point B. For example, from a bed to a chair. The gate belt helps staff support clients or residents and move them more safely than simply holding their hand or having them rely on another form of assistance. Transfer requires a gate belt if a client or resident can stand for four seconds or more bearing weight without assistance. To properly use a gate belt, first, ask the resident to scoot forward in a chair or bed in a seated position so the gate belt can be placed around the waist. Make sure the belt is positioned over the clothing and the clip is in front. This will allow for easier belt adjustments and removal. Second, feed the end of the belt through the portion of the clip with teeth. Pull on the loose end of the belt to tighten it to the proper tightness. The belt should be snug to the person, but you should still be able to get your fingers between the belt and the person to grip. Make sure the resident's feet are placed flat on the floor and the location you are transferring the resident to is close by. Next, place your fingers between the gate belt and the resident. Using an underhand motion to grasp the gate belt, ask the resident to stand as you lift with the belt and guide the resident to the transfer location. Finally, help the resident to safely sit down on the transfer location. Ask the resident to slide back so there is not a danger of falling from the seated location. Once the resident is safely seated on the transfer location, remove the gate belt. Remember to always use a gate belt that is large enough to fit around the person you are going to be moving. Since gate belts come in a variety of sizes, it's important you use a belt that will fit the majority of your residents. Also, discourage the client or resident from grasping around your neck as you make the transfer and try not to twist your body when you are lifting or moving. Improper lifting can cause you to injure your back. The sit to stand mechanical lift is another kind of lift that can be used for transfers. Transfer requires a sit to stand mechanical lift if a client or resident stands for less than four seconds bearing weight with some assistance. To properly use a sit to stand mechanical lift, first, position the lift as close as possible to the desired place the resident is to be transferred. Make sure there is nothing that will be in the way while you're wheeling the lift from one place to another. You don't want the resident in the air too long. The legs on the lift flare out, so if you need to get a resident out of the chair, you can widen the legs to get them around the chair legs. Just make sure you put the legs of the lift back to their normal setting as soon as the lift is clear of the chair. Second, pull the lift up to the resident and lock the brakes. You don't want to have the lift sliding away from you while you're stabilizing the resident. Crank or lower the lift as far down as possible. Third, hook one side of the belt to the lift. There are three settings to choose from. The post highest on the bar is for thin residents, the middle one for moderate residents, and the post closest to the end of the bar is for heavier residents. Choose appropriately. After hooking one side, bring the belt low across the resident's back and finish by hooking the other end of the belt to the appropriate post on the unhooked side of the lift. Next, crank the resident up into a standing position. Unlock the lift brakes and pull the lift away from the chair or bed. After you are clear, put the legs of the lift back to the proper setting. Finally, lock the wheels of the lift and position the resident directly over the target transfer area. Slowly lower the resident. Once the resident is completely lowered, take the belt off and remove the lift from the area.
Make sure the client or resident keeps their hands away from places on the lift that could pinch fingers, hands, or skin. A full body lift is a hydraulic powered device used to safely and easily transfer residents that have mobility issues. Residents are easily and comfortably moved for bathing or moving from a bed to a chair. A full body lift, if used correctly, can greatly reduce the effort and stress of transferring a residence. Residents that are non-weight bearing require a full body lift. To properly use a full body lift, first, the resident must be placed on the sling, which is a strong nylon piece of fabric, much like a hammock. At each corner is a loop with a hook that is attached to the arm of the sling. Position the sling underneath the resident by tilting the resident to the side. Make sure the rail is up and slide in the sling horizontally. Tilt the resident to the opposite side and pull the sling through so two loops are exposed on both sides. The top of the sling should sit around the shoulders and the bottom approximately mid-thigh. It is important to smooth the sling to minimize discomfort. Second, unlock the wheels of the full body lift by stepping on the foot brakes and move it into position, either in front or to the side of the resident. Third, widen the legs of the full body lift manually or by using the shift handle located in the back. Next, apply the wheel lock so it does not move once the full body lift is in position. Lower the lift boom to just above the resident where the sling loops are easy to reach by pressing the button located on the control box. Finally, attach the loops on the sling to the corresponding hooks on the end of the boom. Use the button located on the control box to raise the boom. Slowly lift the resident off the bed. The design of the lift will raise the shoulders first and then the rear end. The resident can grab the crossbar of the cradle for added stability. Once the resident is in a comfortable seated position, they can be moved to their new location. To lower the lift, Ensure the resident is over the new bed or chair and slowly press the button on the control box. As the resident is lowered, adjustments should be made to ensure they are placed properly and comfortably. When sitting up in a chair, the sling can remain underneath the resident until they are moved back to the bed. Remember to always make sure the brakes are properly locked before loading and unloading a resident. When used properly, a gate belt, sit-to-stand mechanical lift, and total body lift reduce injuries for residents, clients, and staff, as well as prevent falls. Do not attempt to transfer a client or resident if you are unfamiliar with the equipment. When in doubt, ask a coworker for assistance or your supervisor for additional training on these devices.